We're gonna try to go get some mullet now. That was the magic bait. When we were out here That's yesterday. Crazy. And what's crazy is this is connected to the ocean. So there's there's saltwater mullet that come up in here. And for some reason, those gar were liking that better than the uh, the carp and the buffalo that we were using yesterday. So key bait. It's morning time right now. We're gonna throw out the cast net, get some bait, and then start getting some hooks in the water. Oh, horse mullet, dude. Oh my gosh. Fresh bait right there, people. That's a beautiful bait. I mean, we got fresh. Is that a channel or a blue? That's a blue. Baby blue. It's a baby. It's my baby blue. Baby blue. Was a catfish in my Is there a lot of change right here? Baby blue. You know that song, Hayden? Yeah. It's classic we just got to our first area it just started to rain kind of drizzle it's calm we can see the gar rolling out here in the river and we got our baits out right now we got mullet and we got we got that buffalo carp out rolling so uh, how we're fishing these is we've got these indicators on the line the bait is sitting on the bottom there's no weight it's just the the weight of the actual bait itself and we've got wire leader with treble hook on there. And it's just a waiting game. You wait for the fish to take it, and then it becomes an even greater waiting game. You're waiting for five, 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes that fish to go down river, take their bait, and as soon as they cut back up into the river, that's when they use that current to kind of reposition that bait in their mouth, sort of like a snake does, trying to digest a, a big mouse or something like that. You know, when we came out here scouting yesterday, this old pin reel down here, it would seem to be the reel that was going off every stop. So I think I'm gonna sit close to it. What bait is this? Already got a bait going off. As soon as you make the first stop. Justin, you want the first one today? today cause, cause you didn't get one yesterday? All right, I think we're gonna try it. Try it, bro. Feeling it? Hit him, dude. Crank and pull hard. I'm, I'm gonna get it down tight. Get that one's got the circle hook on it. Just reel it down Kay. tight and then lean back on it. You ready? Here we go. Got him. You got him, dude. You got him, bro. Yes. There we go. Got him. Hooked up on the first one this morning already. Yeah. Good job. He's coming. Let's see what we got here. What a nice one, dude. You heavy? No, not yet. There he is. Good size one, dude. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice one. Oh, man. Look at that, dude. dude. Alligator. Is that your first alligator that's gar? my first alligator gar, man. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Look at that, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at those teeth, man. Dude, that is insane, bro. Dude, look that's at that, guys. Crazy fish, dude. Boom. First alligator gar. Time to release this guy. First fish of the day, didn't take long. Back in the water here. There he goes, buddy. Here's a dinosaur. Golly, man, it's crazy. I mean, that's just a little one. I still pull really hard. Some oh, giants dude. in there, though. Old trusty pin went off, told you guys. We're gonna let this fish have a little bit more line then we're gonna stick it. How's that one to one with your ratio? Terrible. Pretty bad, right? We got another one on here though. He's on. Oh, nice dude. Another one that makes a 15 pounder. Here he comes, 10 pounder. Go. Nice. Oh, rest of little guy. There he is, man. Nicely done, buddy. Alligator dog. Man, there's so many more in here than I thought there was. There's but so many, dude. <laughs> it's here everywhere. Nice, bro. Second guard of the day. Woo! Fiery. 
fiery, man. Oh my god. Good Way job, go. Hayden. Gone. Gone, man. We're not the only things on this bank here, guys. If you look at uh, this section right here, you see some alligator prints. Big old prints, bigger than my hand. <clears throat> this flat spot right here, that's where his belly and his tail slides through. Rains are coming. We got a little uh, little thunder cloud coming through here. So we're gonna put the gear up for a minute. Hopefully after the rain stops, yeah. these gar will be biting. Got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. This one's going. He's, he's coming back up river now. Yep. A lot of slack in the line. He might be off. I should have just kept letting him take line without any pressure at all. You know, I think when I stopped and held up, he Yeah, just I think you just your bait, dude. He just chewed it, chewed yeah, it off. You should have hooked it earlier, what do you think? I don't know, I think he was eating it at the right time. Dang, dude, it sucks. I think somebody's taking this thing. Something's on that one? We got a fish. We got a fish on, we got a fish on. Get the camera, get, get my camera, get my camera, get my camera, get my camera. I got mine, dude. We're good. No, no. Like he ran back for like 10 He didn't, he didn't get all the way in. Tight. <sighs> it's been the agony of defeat. That line was a long ways out there. We're trying to set the hook. Me and Justin are always chasing these fish. We're always chasing these fish that are uncatchable. You know, it's just like, and then you catch one and you're like, oh, best thing in the world. Josh is hooked up. Does it feel good? Does it feel? Well, he just came up there and popped it. All right, Josh with the second little one of the day. You gonna bite Justin? Is that getting a bite? Justin? I'm just trying right now to get anything. It's rough times, fishing freaks. You ever had one of these times? Things were going so well, fish were biting, they were going, and then three hours, nothing. It's been very tough. Let me know in the comments if you've had these days. We've been kind of looking at the barometric pressure. It's on the rise right now, which is not good. It's usually when all fishing gets tough. I really want Josh to get a gar though. He's been talking about this, we've been talking about this for years. It's been entertaining watching him come to Texas for the first time, but I really want to see him get that gar, get him charged up in the true black to page form. We were packing up to get ready to leave and uh, fish took off with the rod. So we're going to see if this fish is going to hang on to the bait and hopefully get a hook in his face. It's proved to be the most difficult part about this gar fishing is getting the hook into the face. very tricky we got wind blowing this way we got current blowing this way but that indicator not sure which direction the fish is really we're not sure where the fish is I'm not sure 100% if it is you a know fish. yeah we're not even this is just a very difficult way to if, if you fish look about right where you had it sit whole time, yeah okay or you just get hung on a tree. Time to head in, guys. No giant guard today, just small ones. Well, guys.
guys, I gotta tell you, this gar fishing is really tough. I wanted to show you something, something that our guy Jason found on the shoreline. That right there is a scale off of one of these gars. The Indians used to use these as arrowheads. It's that hard. Like that's not even that's not even flexible. That's just like bone. It's just a plate of armor. If you think of the old uh, knights that used to wear that just layered, you know, chain link armor. That's what this stuff is like. So just imagine trying to drive those hooks into those fish. And people bow fish for these too, where they try to shoot arrows in them. And I've heard stories of the arrows actually bouncing off the fish's heads and bouncing off their backs just because they have a plate of armor that's so thick. So that's just, it's crazy guys. But we're not giving up. We're not giving up. Today, we caught fish. I caught my first alligator gar, so that was awesome. But it wasn't those giants that we're looking for. That's okay. We still got another day, another opportunity at this. We're gonna get up extra early tomorrow morning and we're gonna get after it again. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the scenery that was going on here today. Uh, hit the like button for me catching my first alligator gar. Uh, but I really want Josh to get that giant, you know. I wanted him to come down here and experience that. He's always wanted to come down here and catch one of these big alligator gar that he's been seeing. So hopefully we make that happen. Stay tuned for it. Uh, and let me know anything that you thought was awesome in the comments. And if you missed the last video, I'll leave the link in the description for you there. And uh, the other guys will be down below where you can go check out their channels uh, as well. If you guys have questions about gear and, and just how this whole thing goes down, leave them in the comments. I'm learning all this uh, as I go along as well, trying to catch these fish. It's a whole different ball game than, you know, set the hook on like a bass, get it in in five seconds and the fight's over. This is a very long process, uh, but we're gonna stick it out and keep grinding. So we'll see you guys on the next video.